hello friends welcome back to automation testing inside.com this is sql tutorial part 11 and today we are going to explore different sql date functions and different date formats so let's get started so what are the different sql date functions and formats are there okay so in this particular video we will explore various sql functions and convert date format formats to use in writing sql queries so we have uh, different date functions like we have says uh, says date time to get the current date time of the system we have get utc date to get the coordinated uh, universal time we have get date again uh, this is uh, another way to get the current date uh, system time and we have date diff to get the difference between two dates we can get uh, we can use this date diff function and and we have uh, this date part so suppose you want some part of dates so you can get uh, you can use this date part function let's say suppose you want year part or month part or day part so you can get it from this function sql convert date formats so we can use the sql convert function in sql server to format date time in various formats so suppose you want date in uh, particular format suppose date is in uh, yyy mmdd format and you want to convert this into dd mm yyy so you can use this convert function to get the uh, your desired date format okay so the syntax for sql convert function is as follows so this is the syntax to get uh, to use this convert function so we here we have convert data type length of that data type and date which we want to convert into particular format and date format code so we have different date format code guys so today i'll show you some of the date format code uh, we will explore while writing sql queries and at the end of this video i'll show you a website where uh, different date formats are available and you can explore different date formats so this is nothing but the explanation of the different arguments we have data type date date format code which we just uh, talked about so let's get started to explore sql queries guys uh, so let me take you to my sql server management studio where we have uh, different que uh, different questions so we have around 12 or uh, 13 rather so this is our table employee detail table and here we have this joining date so this is in yyy mmdd format okay so let's write some sql queries using uh, this joining date okay so what is the first question so uh, show joining date in dd mm yyy format example 15 march 2020 so suppose we want the date in this format so here you can see joining date is in different format and you want in this format so how to write the sql queries for this so select star from let's write in caps employee detail so we have as we have discussed we have this convert function convert and then we have right we want this uh, ddmm yyy format okay so for that we have we have discussed uh, this function right convert function so we have data type we want in this fair care type where care type data uh, type we want and we have we want uh, what is the date we wo which we want to convert so that is date we uh, men we need to mention in the second argument so we have this joining date joining date and at last we have to put the date format code so to get this date format we have one code 106 you don't need to remember this uh, when you do a lot of practice you can remember some of the codes but at the end of this video i'll show you that website where you can explore more about date format code so let me just execute this query so here you can see in november uh, 
zero nine November two thousand nine twenty four Jan two thousand twelve. So this is how we got the results, right? In this format, and you can do in this way as well. You can use alias date like that. You can do. So what is the second one? Or write like result date format. We will get column name like result date format. Now let me just copy for this second question because we have this second question show joining date in Y Y Y M M D D format. So what we need to do here we have to just change this code. So for this format we have this triple one. So here we got the result 2018, uh, 2008, 11, 10. So in this format. Similarly, we can get for this uh, show only time part of joining date. So we want in this format. So I'm not sure about this one. Let's see. Well, let's try. I think we have this 108. Error converting data type date to where care. Why it is showing like this? So. I think we have 114. It's not valid. I think it should be 108 only. So let it keep this question as it is. I'll uh, confirm this later on. So the next question is get only year part of join date. So to get the some part of uh, date, what we have, we have date part function. So simply we will write select star from employee detail and uh, we have date part right date part function and this we want some part of dates so suppose you want year part so you need to just put yyy and joining date which from which you want some part of date so this will give me year so here you can see 2008 2009 and you can give alias like this so here you can get 2008 2009 2012 17 like this now get only month part of joining date so how to get this so for that instead of this y y y you can put year as well like this so this will also give me the same result and here we have get month part of joining date so either you can put month over here or you can put double m anything is fine so here you can see the sum part of like month part of dates okay now get only day part of joining date so here you can put dd you have to put dd and you will get the day part so 10 9 24 28 like you can get so how to get the system date so we have couple of functions with which we talked about we have this get date and sys date time so simply we can write select sys date time so this will give me current date so 7 7 2021 and we have another function that is get date this will also give me the same result only thing is uh, difference is i think it will give more digits in milliseconds here we have only three digits so how to get UTC date the eighth question so for that we discussed this uh, get UTC date so simply write select get UTC date so this will give the UTC date time get the first name the ninth question get the first name current date joining date and difference between current date and joining date in months so for that we have date diff function so how to use that so let's write sql queries 
a query for that employee detail so we want what are the columns we want first name so simply you write first name comma current date so how to get get we have two functions right uh, so any of them you can use system date or get date so let's use this get date so we can get uh, current date and we use this alias to write some meaningful name get date uh, current time current date suppose you want a uh, space between uh, uh, these two strings so you need to just put this square bracket like this and what do you want joining then and then joining date also right so we want joining date joining date and then we want difference between current date and joining date so we have date we need column uh, comma over here and we have date diff function and inside that difference between current date and joining date in months so current date is this get date we'll put it over here what are the different uh, it it requires three arguments so we need uh, one more argument in months right so we need in mm months and difference between get date and the second date the first date and the second date the first date is get date and uh, the second date is joining date joining date we can as total months total months okay so this is how we can write the sql query for this so let's see so here you can see uh, we need to just write reverse joining date and then we have to write this date so that will give the exact difference like difference between joining date and get date the current date okay so this is how we got uh, the first name current date uh, joining date and total months the difference in total months in months right so this is how we get we got it okay the next question uh, get the first name current date joining date and difference between current date and joining date in days so we can use the same query and only thing is that we have to put dd over here in days so we can get the difference in days so and we have to just total days we have to just write like this total days so here we got total the difference in total days what is the next question we have get all employee detail details from employee detail table whose joining year is 2008 so how to write the query for this so we want all uh, you can see in this employee detail table we have in this format so we can uh, we have to use date part function for that question and we have to extract this 2008 so how to do that select star from from employee detail so here we have to use get all employee details from employee detail table so select star from employee detail table where right where date part date part and how many arguments it will take two arguments right so we want year of joining date is equal to we have to put where clause because we have to specify a particular condition like year should be 2008 so 2008 so let's see whether it it works or not it is getting the 
correct result or not so here we got this joining date as uh, so we have only one record whose joining date is in 2008 year in year uh, 2008 so let me just check quickly so here we have uh, 2008 for tom and i think we don't have any other year any other joining date joining year of 2008 right so this is how you can write uh, the sql query for this question and uh, the the twelfth one is get all employee details from employee detail table whose joining month is jan jan right so how to get this so which one is jan we have uh, this one frank jane and robert so what you'll do simply you can use the previous query and uh, we need to just make some changes over here mm for months and one one denotes month uh, january so here you can see one 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 and one right all in january so we have frank jane robert and robert another robert is there robert williams so this is the answer of this question and last one is get all employee details from employee detail table whose joining date between 2008 and 2010 between these dates so how to get how to write the query for this so select star from employee detail where joining date right where joining date between we can use between simply we we will put this date because this is in the same format so we can use this between this and what is the next date this one like this so let's see if it is working or not so here we give, uh, got the result the joining date between 2008 11 to 2010 so 2008 9 9 10 9 so you can see so this is how you can write the sql query for this question okay so these are the uh, different sql queries guys you can practice uh, some more queries as well and uh, we have this website i'll put the link in the description box box of this video so sql convert date functions and formats so here you can see different formats let me show you so sql convert date formats we have uh, so this is the okay and here you'll see we have one okay date time format in mmddyy so we have one code one for that system date code okay uh, date code and we have uh, if you want in this format yy mmdd so we have two three four so these are the different formats date formats we have suppose you want in dd mmyy dd hyphen mmyy so five right so in our query let me just change it what is that fifth one so you can get in this format dd hyphen mmyy yeah so this is very good website you can just explore different date formats and uh, guys if you navigate to my blog that is automation testing insider.com just navigate to this database testing and all the notes queries are i'm putting over here so you can just refer all the queries and different notes and suppose you want different sections we have here selenium tutorial automation tools java questions selenium questions etc are available over here so just follow this blog as well guys from here you can follow this blog so this is all for today guys thank you for watching please like and share this video and uh, please subscribe this channel to get the notification and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye